For most Hollywood stars and Hollywood wannabes, being on Ellen DeGeneres' show is a bucket list item that must be crossed to be considered someone who's made it big in the entertainment industry. She's been going at it for quite a while now since 2003, and because of the long run of her talk show, it's also not surprising that she's met a few bad apples along the way. So stick around because today, we're going to take a look at some celebs who have crossed the line and insulted Ellen on her own show. But before that, a simple reminder on how to enter our brand new giveaway. We're giving away either an iPhone X Max, the new iPad Mini, or a MacBook Pro. It's all your choice, but be sure to leave a like, comment the keyword, subscribe, and turn on notifications to enter the giveaway. It's really that simple. Starting off at the top, we have Wendy Williams. Given that both Wendy and Ellen are both daytime talk show hosts, there's bound to be some ongoing tension between the two women. They threw shade at each other on numerous occasions, but there were two specific events that went to show that the two ladies are less than cordial. The first instance was in 2013, when Wendy kept roasting Kanye and Kim Kardashian, who at the time were expecting their first child. Wendy kept telling everyone that Kim will end up as a single mom, which from what we know now didn't happen yet. She then inquired about Ellen's veganism and asked her how she could live without bacon. But the second part was worse. The next time Wendy insulted Ellen on the show came three years later when she returned to play Heads Up. At one point, Justin Bieber's name came up, and to help Ellen figure out the correct answer, Wendy told her that this particular celebrity looked like her. Some people say that he looks like you. I've heard that. Next up, we have Justin Timberlake. Justin and Ellen actually do have a pretty cordial relationship, with the singer being one of the regular guests on the show. But there was one time that Justin delivered a solid but playful jab against the veteran host. During one of his many visits on Ellen's show, Justin took the time to set the record straight on the correct lyrics to his song, Can't Stop the Feeling. But even before he could say anything, Ellen chimed in and claimed that she loved that song so much that she sent him a video of her singing the song. And then it happened. Justin then replied, my favorite was your like just electric. I was like, that's not the words. Ellen was clearly embarrassed by the epic fail and you probably would be too if you sent a video of yourself singing the wrong lyrics to virtually anyone, let alone the original singer. And for those of you who still might not know this, the correct lines are, just imagine. He clearly says, just imagine, but... <laughs> then there was Blake Shelton. As a talk show host, Ellen is expected to be able to extract some of the juiciest secrets from her guest, no matter how much it takes. That's why she's always on the lookout for the newest details and is kind of a great detective with the way she makes guests warm up enough to launch into a tell-all tale. But her gimmick seems to not be working with Blake Shelton. Ellen's move of giving off a large clock to celebrity guests, hoping that they would get married, did work for Jennifer Lopez. This happened in 2019 when Ellen gave J.Lo a humongous clock with Jennifer and her then-boyfriend Alex Rodriguez kissing. Ellen herself admitted that she just wanted to remind Alex that the world is waiting for him to get down on one knee. He eventually did, though. So Ellen then wanted to repeat the trick with Blake Shelton, who has been steadily dating Gwen Stefani. Ellen gave him a clock just like J.Lo's, but with Blake and Gwen's kissing scene, of course. During the time, Blake was equally surprised, but it wasn't until he came back on Ellen's show that he roasted her. It was Ellen who reminded Blake about that big clock scene and how time is running out on him and Gwen. But then Blake claimed that he never actually got the clock since one of Ellen's staff asked him to return it. And when Ellen pressed further, Blake said that she might just need it back so she could use it again as a prop for some other couple and pressure them to get married. It goes to show that Ellen shouldn't always recycle her stunts and props, and she should also learn to respect the privacy of celebrities even if they do have fairly public lives. Ellen also felt slightly insulted by Jada De La Rentes. This 2017 episode is known to be a disaster right from the very beginning because of the failed cooking segment. The entire thing lasted for only six minutes, but it felt longer because of how awkward the situation got. The thing here is Jada didn't just insult Ellen, but also the other guest, Nicole Kidman. Firstly, the TV chef kept making sexual innuendos about balls to Ellen, and then she proceeded to tell the Oscar-nominated actress, Nicole, have you ever made meatballs or anything? Which of course was a snide remark about the actress never cooking anything in her life. For some reason though, Ellen and the showrunners thought it best to bring Jada back on the show a year later. But what was supposed to be her redemption just proved how she isn't exactly a good fit for the Ellen DeGeneres show. I hope Ellen has learned this lesson already. Now let's move on to the time when Jennifer Lawrence shocked Ellen. 
This is another one of those awkward moments and it definitely struck a chord with Ellen. There they were talking about J-Law's new pet cat. It was doing pretty well and fine, but then J-Law explained her peculiar understanding of both cats and dogs. She tells Ellen that she always thought dogs were boys and cats were girls. So when her female cat actually started acting a bit like a boy, though I really don't know what that means, Lawrence renamed it to Chaz Bono. If you don't know why that can be pretty offensive, well, Chaz is the transgender son of Cher and Sonny Bono. It definitely looks like it was not part of the script because the video of J-Law's new cat started rolling in the background. The audience had to sit through and cringe as Ellen tried to tiptoe her way around a new and hopefully less insulting topic. Next up, we have Will & Grace star Sean Hayes, who got on this list for repeatedly calling Ellen Helen from the get-go. Oh, Helen. <laughs> Ellen. Helen. 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 Right. The comedian host was seen laughing it off, but of course anyone would be at least a little insulted by that remark. It got worse, though. As Sean was steering the conversation, he repeatedly tapped Ellen's knee with his ring. When Ellen pointed out that it hurt, Sean removed his ring and proceeded to throw it into his mug and told him she could go fish for it. Sean even added another jab when Ellen asked him how long Will & Grace has been on the air. Instead of answering politely, he says, longer than your sitcom. It was all in good fun, though, as Ellen fondly recalled this episode, The Battle of the Gays. Then there was Katy Perry. To be honest, for this next one, I believe it was Katy who got really insulted, but oh well. The thing is, Ellen got the famous singer on the show back in 2017, but then, during her conversation, it was revealed that Ellen totally forgot that Katy Perry had been married. How did this come to pass, you ask? Well, they were trying to play a game called Will You Parry Me? with Ellen showing Katie photos of male celebrities she'd be interested in. Katie then says, do I have to get married? Again? To which Ellen replies with an honestly puzzled look. Katie was the one who actually had to remind Ellen that she was married to Russell Brand in 2010, although their marriage only lasted for two years. The burn that Katie delivered next was quite good and well-deserved. Katie reminded Ellen that the comedian host even gave the former couple some wedding gifts on the show. Remember you gave me some wedding gifts show. Yes, I do. Next is, of course, Kathy Griffin. Ellen made it pretty clear that Kathy Griffin will never be banned from her show because she will never be invited in the first place. If you're wondering what went on between these two, then let me tell you. Back in 2016, Griffin spilled the tea on a lot of celebrities in her book, Celebrity Run-Ins, My A to Z Index. Now, while she never really named Ellen, everyone knew that she was referring to the veteran host when she said, I'm almost positive that a certain beloved daytime talk show host once had me kicked out of a backstage dressing room at the Emmy Awards. I can't prove it, but this person who has short blonde hair has a mean streak that all of Hollywood knows about. Years have already passed, but without a formal invite to the Ellen show, I think that means both of them have not yet gotten over this issue. Speaking of feuds, Ellen also kind of fought with Caitlyn Jenner on her show. For someone who also went through the same struggle for acceptance in society, you'd think that these two members of the LGBTQ community would have formed some sort of bond, but nope. It indeed started that way at first. Ellen actually invited Caitlyn over to thank her for her great contribution to transgender visibility. However, that's not where the discussion ended. Ellen then asked Caitlyn about her previous take on gay marriage, and that's when things got a little too hot to handle. Jenner admitted that she wasn't an advocate for gay marriage at first. She went on to say, I'm older than most people in the audience. I kinda like tradition, and it's always been a man and a woman. I'm thinking, I don't quite get it. Although Caitlyn claimed to have had a change of heart in terms of her views towards gay marriage, especially especially since she did come out as transgender the very same year. If that word marriage is really, really that important to you, I can go with it, Jenner added. This wasn't the end of it, though. In an interview with Howard Stern, Ellen then admitted that Caitlyn Jenner's stance was a tad bit confusing. Jenner then clapped back two years later during the release of her memoir saying that Ellen actually alienated her from the LGBT community after that particular interview. The episode with Billie Eilish on Ellen definitely got high ratings because of this incident that will go down in history. Billy shut down a prying Ellen who wanted her to tell everyone all about her being diagnosed with Tourette's syndrome. Back then, Billy had already admitted that she was diagnosed with that disease ever since she was a child. This caused her to exhibit some involuntary physical tics. As I mentioned earlier, Ellen can't really help it. She needs to make good TV, and in order to do this, she wanted Billy to talk about her disease. But the young singer was not having any of it. She did discuss a few things about the disease, mainly because Ellen kept prodding her. But she told Ellen boldly that, I don't want to be known as the singer from Ellen with Tourette's. 
Personally, I'd be the one who'd get offended if I'm forced to spill info about myself that I really don't want to confront. So there you have it. Thanks for watching the video. A simple reminder on how to enter our brand new giveaway. We're giving away either an iPhone X Max, the new iPad Mini, or a MacBook Pro. It's all your choice, but be sure to leave a like, comment the keyword, subscribe, and turn on notifications to enter the giveaway. It's really that simple.